Today's lesson is on hyperbolas, and we're going to do some real-world applications. I just have one problem today. So my learning objective is I can use hyperbolas to solve real-life problems by coordinating the real-world information to critical points of hyperbolas. Okay, two microphones a mile apart record an explosion. Microphone A receives the sound two seconds before microphone B. Where did the explosion occur? I also know that sound travels at 110 feet per second and one mile is 5,280 feet. Since I have a horizontal hyperbola, I am using this specific equation. Some of the facts that I know are that the difference between D2 and D1 is 2A. So here's D2. Here is D1. And A is from the center to the vertex. So from the center, here's the center to the vertex. So from here to here is A and A which is 2a, so this is what the difference is. And b is the distance from the center to the co-vertex, but I'm not really going to be working with that in this problem. And then c is from the center to the focus. So from the center, so I focus at a and b. So this is c. And this is C. Okay, so I know that I am one mile apart. So C plus C, this is 2C. And I know that's one mile apart. And we said a mile is 5,280 feet. Okay, so 2C equals 5,280 feet. So dividing both sides by 2, I get C is 2,640. If I square it, I get C squared is 2,000. 640 squared. So I'm going to just kind of write it as a squared here. And I know that um, D2 minus D1 is equal to 2A. And I know that um, light travels or sound travels at a hundred and eleven hundred feet per second, and that I heard the sound two seconds later. So two seconds later. So I know rate times time is distance. So 1100 feet times two is 2200 feet. So this 2200 is equal to 2a. So dividing both sides by two, I get a equals 1100. So a squared is 1100 squared, which is, um, we'll get there. Okay, so next, for my equation, I need to know a squared and b squared. So I can now solve for b squared, knowing that it is c squared minus a squared. So b squared 
is 2640 squared minus 1100 squared. And it's kind of easier to work with these smaller numbers rather than multiply them, the squaring them out. So I end up with this b squared is 5,759,600. So now I'm going to substitute into my equation. My center is at 0, 0, so h and k are at 0, 0. So my equation is x squared, and 1,100 squared is 1,210,000 minus y squared. 5,759,600 equals 1. Okay, so next, one of the questions was asking is where is the explosion? Well, the explosion is on that graph. So here is where the explosion is. And the question is asking me, where is it? So how I describe it on my hyperbola is I say it's on the right branch. So for a horizontal hyperbola, I have the right and the left branch. For a vertical, I would have the top or the bottom branch. Okay, that's it. So big picture here is to make sure I convert everything to the right units. I know distance equals rate times time and converting units. That's it.